guys, it's Lina from the Land of Gods, and we are doing the weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius, my dear Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the 29th of November till the 5th of December. Please remember, these are general readings. Times fluid, energies can be flipped. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you're here for the first time. Welcome aboard, welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back despite a very shaky November, I thank you very, very, very much. Thanks a lot. My Sagis, let's jump straight into your reading. Uh, before we open the cards, uh, when I was shuffling your cards, you are coming out of some kind of lack some kind of stuck energy it's getting unstuck yeah it's getting unstuck that's what came up when i was shuffling your cards so let's start now we're going to look into past present future clarify them and get a final word from the source ace of cups look at that finally getting unstuck some new beginning came your way in the recent past in the present you're sitting very calm and stable and grounded and rooted as the king of pentacles looking into this new opportunity with the level of maturity that this opportunity demands and we have the queen of cups look at that something that this ace of cups is going to bring about is that harmony in life is that fulfillment in life what do we have under the deck princess of wands yeah this is what we are talking about a new opportunity coming your way this is young energy with young energy accompanied with the maturity and the depth the heartfelt compassion for this new beginning you feel truly passionate about this yeah but you are not really going just with the impulse no you're sitting there and looking into it like it needs to be looked into ace of cups with the moon look this is this came out of nowhere you felt very stuck and then this came about and you're like wow this is something that came out of nowhere out of the blue yeah king of pentacles so that's the reason probably you need to look into this with a deeper insight because yeah skeptic i hear you are being skeptical about this because of the way this new idea or this new beginning has come about whatever this new thing is that has come about it has come in a way that has forced you or that has demanded you to be more skeptical and look deep into this and not just go with the flow which my dear sagis is one of your traits you just go with the flow right what do we have look we have the king of pentacles clarified by the king of pentacles and the four of swords yeah you are taking your time you are you are not jumping straight to catch that cup you are taking your time you are contemplating you are looking into it from a mature point of view you are looking at the pros and cons at the same time you are figuring out how to go about this in the best possible manner that's what you are doing yeah you do not want to get hurt again, I hear. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, this could be you or someone who is holding that Ace of Cups for you. Probably the way it came about or someone. I see someone standing here, another one in the dark of the night. And that's why. You have to think twice about this because you don't want to get hurt. Let's see how this... Oh, what am I doing? Let's see. See? <laughs> Let's see what this Queen of Cups has to say in the future. Please clarify 
the queen of cups in the near future for my dear Sagis. Okay, what do we have? We have the eight of coins, yeah? You're gonna work for it. We have death with the prince, princess of wands. We are talking about something new. Yeah, we are talking about ending something and beginning something and coming out of this contemplation or skeptical thought process. We are going to look into this. We are focusing on this queen and the cup that she's holding. We want to work on this. It came out of nowhere. You are taking your time looking into this because you don't want to get hurt again. Seems like in the near future, you would come to a point where you would want to work upon this. You would want to put in time. You're not yet giving your all into this. We are still at eight. We are not at 10, right? We are not giving it all. You are looking into this new potential. We have death with the seven of cups along with the princess of wands as the overall. Clearly, this is something, some, something old that's wrapping up and the new coming in. But this feels like this happened almost simultaneously. You were not expecting this to happen. You were still dealing with the, with the wrapping up and this came out of nowhere and that is the reason you were very skeptical about this that is the reason you were taking your own time there is this fire behind in the distance i see in the background so there was a lot of fire but you were holding on to that you did not let that fire come in the forefront and it was somewhere in the background because you were taking your own time you did not want to get hurt it seems like you are taking steps in this direction, not away from this. You are taking few steps further in this direction towards this Queen of Cups. Yeah, you are still confused. It's not that you aren't, but you want to give it a shot. Let's, let's say it that way. You want to still give it a shot. Let's take an overall message from the source to wrap up this reading for you, my Sagis. Overall for my Sagis, what do we have? King of Swords, see? Contemplation, looking at it through a skeptical lens. Want to see what's there, what's there. There is, there is less heart, more head to the whole situation. Six of Wands. There is there is definitely a lot of fire between you guys. There is a lot of fire between you guys. We have love overflowing and we have the six of wands coming in right here. That's that's you. That's your fellow fire sign. That's Leo right there with the knight of wands. See, this is what I'm saying. The knight of wands came in the reverse with the six of wands and the king of swords. You are holding back. You want to work on things clearly. I can see that you want this venture to be successful. But you are not wearing your heart on your sleeve. You are still holding back. You still have that some kind of coldness in the situation. You are not taking those steps as fast as one would wish. Yeah, very calculated, very, very calculated. Well, take your own time. There is no rush, Sajis. There is no reason for you to rush. I am wishing you all the very best. Thank you for joining me today. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.